He's Kendrick sorry. Lamar, where the fuck are you? Where is Kendrick Lamar? Oh, let me for my ambition. Scary Hours 3 just dropped. Ah! I'm Sound, this is Club Ambition. Welcome to the channel. Marloon in the building. Noel in the building. I apologize if we look tired and shit like that. We just got the listen Listening to, to the Andre 3000's album. Classic. Huh? Classic. Drake she has said that he made these songs. Okay. I just checked the six new songs. Okay. And there's a J. Cole feature. Oh, no way. Shit. No way. A new J. Cole oh. feature? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Cole? And the song. Wait, wait, wait. Jermaine Cole? That, that song's called Evil Ways. Oh, Jermaine shit. Cole? Drake posted oh, on the story shit. that he's rapping oh, like the shit. rents do. Drake's oh, rap shit. has never been due. He owns the house. He's what owned houses his whole life. My rent's due right now. I should start rapping. You could give me money. Our rent's definitely fucking due. <laughs> Help me, please. <laughs> Drake said that he recorded this in the last five That's days. That's the only feature. In the last five days, he's recorded these songs. They're brand new. So they're not leaks from the album. This is official brand new music. Scary Hours 3, but he added it to For All The Dogs. So this called For All The Dogs, Scary Hours Edition. I said this album, For All The Dogs, is Drake's worst album. It's not a bad album. It's just his worst album, meaning... That Drake does not have a bad album. It's just that it wasn't hitting, right? So, our expectations were higher. He made it seem like he was going to drop a rap album. The way he was talking on tour. It sold, though. It that sold. Was, that's what he said. It sold, but sales doesn't equate to, like, actual impact. Sales is just, like, people, like, in tuning in because you're Drake. You know, it's like, Bad Bunny, these are the biggest dogs in the world, right? You, you can't lie, though. A lot of the songs have been growing on you. The R&B ones. R and B ones. I'm also like half of the album. Nah, man. Nah, I don't like the Yachty one. I used to like What Would Pluto Do, but then I'm like, then I like it no more now. I'm kind of mad at that song. It's kind of getting me mad and heated. What? Yo, your shit was here today. Gone, gone tomorrow. tomorrow. Cool that you sold, but is your shit timeless? Does your shit have impact? A lot of Drake's recent music, no. That's it's not fact. timeless. That's it's, that it's not timeless how Drake used to be. I That's don't. the thing. It's not making the, the fingerprint impact. But let's see. It was it's just it's trendy music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, 100%. is this a response to that? In the trailer, he said it's not. He said I was just making music. It just came to me, almost on some like Andre 3000 shit. Like, I try. I didn't plan this. It just happened. Type shit, right? It could be possible. Drake is probably one of those artists, like an NBA young boy, Gucci man, where he just drops music, drops music, drops music. Right? He's not trying to, quote unquote, make up for the bad feedback on the album from a Charlemagne, Joe Budden, a Club Ambition reaction. Maybe. That's his justification. He said it in the trailer. Two minute trailer. Let's shut the fuck up and listen to the music. Please. That's all that matters. Track one, Red Button. You guys want to watch the uncut version without any skips to prevent copyright and blocking because Drake's label does not play games. Uh -oh. Go to patreon.com forward slash club ambition and you'll watch it uncut there. A red Button, nigga? You know what a Red Button means? My drive is dedicated, your drive is designated, reasons for it speculated, we know how it escalated, radio is king again, Bilbo got me regulated, do right and kill everything, Taylor Swift the only nigga that I ever rated, only one could make me drop the album just a little later. Yo! He bitch. called Taylor Swift a nigga, not a bitch. That's so crazy. Now now solidified though that the th at the same time now it's like a time like a t stamping. He's talking about CBL, right? Oh, he had to move CBL because of her. It might have been this one. Didn't he have to move this one because of her? What? Which album? It was a it was a certified no, logo no, boy. He moved because of her. One. I think it was this one, no? No. This well, one was because it wasn't done. Yeah, he, it was he's talking that shit. No, it was better. I thought he was gonna call her a bitch, bro. If he were to call her a bitch, I would have been heated. I was like, nah. It's like it's like it's not necessary. I would have been laughing. Nah, it would have been trolling. Even when you stab me in the back, the vest is metal plated. Trying to see it be inside my circle like I'm getting graded. Every time a Yeezy car the truce, he had my head inflated. Thinking we gon' finally piece it up and get the levitated. Damn, I'm talking about Kanye. Me and Yeezy was supposed to meet up and squash the beef, but everything was premeditated, blah blah blah. Basically saying we're not cool. Clarifying, hey guys, we're not cool. Bro, I didn't hear yeah anywhere in there. What? For real? Every time a Yeezy car the truce, he had my head inflated. Okay. Thinking we gon' finally piece it up, everything premeditated. Everyone was good with me there, everyone expression faded. Press this red button, dog, and everything forever changes. M dollars, she the only one could maybe save it. So he's talking about Rihanna. So before that, oh shit. He's saying niggas have been telling him to. Dr basically, what he just said was niggas want me to tell the world that I fucked your wife. 
And this is where Drake pisses me off. You think so? Yes, that's the red button, bro. That's the red button? That was what was on the diss track. Yo, Drake, <laughs> let it go! You, yo, yo, because this is my beef. Because when the Pusha T shit happened, what do you say? Oh, it's not about Push. It's about Kanye because Kanye gave him the information. And then what did Push prove? No, 40 side bitch was the one telling him everything. So why don't you go get some bars for Push? Oh, I forgot because he'll fucking outwrap you and you have nothing on him. That's that's where I get mad. So you're going to run and tell the mentally ill nigga, yo, I unless, fucked your wife. Unless he, I fucked your wife. Unless he does have the, the red button for Push. That's the thing. So fucking do it then, bitch. I think he does have the red button. He said the mentally I think he, he could decapitate him if he wants. Bro, because... does he want to decapitate Pusha T? Because that's crazy, bro. Why do you keep... Yo, this kind M of has a word to And him. the M Dollars thing is the... That's Rihanna's best friend. So he's going back on the Rihanna thing. I told you guys, most of the album is about Rihanna. When you break it down the lyrics, it's a Rihanna album. He, he really wants her back. I don't know what's going on. God bless. God bless. Niggas think it's sweet, but I am not a diabetic patient. I will start blacking over here like it's segregation. I'll give you a hard pill to swallow. This your medication. Fucking leave you in the dirt like some vegetation. Chemicals is mixing in my brain and killing hesitation. I will fucking put your ass on pause like I'm past the Mason. I'll fucking. I'll fucking get 10 years from now like procrastination. I park my phantom on the curb like I'm Larry David. Yeah. Damn. I hate, I hate when he like stops himself from fucking keep on going. He did that shit on for all the dogs too, where he was like, "I got more words for you, but this time I'm just, you know, this, this, and that." Bro, you're already there. Thank just, you. just, just, just let, Thank just, bro, just go, go. Like this go. is rap, nigga. It's like, it's like, it's like, oh, let me stop myself. No, bro, bro fucking. He, he might deliver. let it go. We got more songs. He might let it go. Cut it up. I walked in the studio. No one said I thought you quit. Before the intermission, done a lot of post game talk. I told Lee to put him in the car, but don't piss the whip him. And definitely do not shoot his ass till you get permission. Talking loose, they hit me up after on some please, Drake. Listen, listen. Energy they bring it is inconsistent. Imagine us getting our validation from an ex musician searching for recognition. Same story. He's talking about Joe Budden? Nigga, get me out the car. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Get with this shit, bro. No. Damn, but he's got to double down, though. He's got to probably, let's see. No. Same story every time. They heckle and repetition. Y'all the type to catch a charge, head to the deposition, and act like the rapper named after the sex position. The rapper named after the sex position. 6 9 Takashi oh, 6 9 Oh, okay. He's talking about snitching. Snitching. Yeah. Okay. So he's not saying his name, but he's rapping about him. That's funny. That's the first time I think he's ever acknowledged, I think, 6 hey, 9 man, listen, ever. 6 9 you just got to know by Let me tell you about my brother. That nigga stick it to you for real. He a lint roller. My brother, he ain't bought off. It's like he playing EDM. That nigga a chain smoker. Niggas won't smoke with us. I promise this game over. And then you niggas wind the J Prince like some grape growers, man. What the? Let me tell you about my brother, though. You niggas do your shooting on the web. You Spider-Man. My brother robbing it down. You juniors like Iron Man. It's me, him, and a white team. We moving like Paramore. My brother put some holes. In your top, you are Air Force. I should charge for interviews, they want me to share more. This the part of the story you wasn't prepared for. My brother say I'm better than everyone, he biased as fuck. Your last album was buns, you niggas Hawaiian as fuck. And they making a lie, secret admirers, too embarrassed, they hide in the cut. Can't wait for the day that you choose to retire your stuff. Taking off the sneakers cause you tired of tying them up. That's when you gon' find out you not Kobe Bryant to us. No way he's talking about Kanye. Kanye West, because Kanye West walking around in Italy with no sneakers, <laughs> getting a head on a boat like a maniac. And he basically said, he said, him, you're going, from, you're retiring to do, you're doing sneakers because you can't tie him up. And he said, you're not Kobe to us. But nigga, I, you've acknowledged how great he is. Like, this is what. Because Kanye had that, I feel like Kobe, you know? I feel like oh, Pablo, I feel like okay. Kobe. Yeah, you're right. Bro, he's such a corny he, ass nigga. But he loves Kanye. He loves Kanye's music. He has yeah. acknowledged Kanye as the best artist ever. So what are we talking about? Tumble back in 2012, now I give Eric and boss, but enough about me. Okay. Let's keep it going, let's keep it going. I want to hear what's going on. I might want to skip this one. This is a uh, harsh truth. No, I want to listen. Hard. The ladies wondering why Drake can't rap like that same old guy. It's because I don't know how anymore. Am I? Beliefs tested, my faith broken. To all the super triggered women talking down on me. Act like you somebody daughter. Can't get a tan from your phone light. Open the blinds, get out the shade room. 
What's your baby shoe size? Could tell by the laces they tight. Why you only focus on the steps that I'm taking in life? Leave for a month to Columbia and now everything bigger. Your nigga is not even a starting QB. He just practicing throwing. What happened to selling real estate? All of that snapping and posing. Whole time he jealous of your past. Domestic abuse. That man is not a man for you. He's a pathetic excuse. Now you on a flight to Bogota just to get it reduced. Good lord. Then you got the ones that travel across the globe. Everything is paid. Don't listen to Drake. Never been a fan. Click the link tree and see you sucking dick on cam. What the fuck? <laughs> So, I fuck with this. Drake can't rap like that same old guy. It's cause I don't know how anymore. You ordering one bottle to split between five of the bros. All your booze, I would never guess that you niggas is this crazy. Dick in a visa, you turning to Dick Tracy. You niggas so you live with your parents still. You don't own a steering wheel, so you can't even drive down. You you hacking an iCloud, you committing cyber crimes, you niggas is out of line. It's cause I don't know why anymore. Dang. I don't know how. I don't know how anymore how to rap. I he's being sarcastic, I think, but I think he's also sampling like um somebody. So that's like a thing. Like I don't know how anymore. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Why. It's like some Wu Tang shit, some old shit. My but, thing. And is, the comments don't know. Yeah, they're gonna tell us. Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing though. Like, I'm assuming what he's trying to do here is he's trying to be sarcastic in the sense of like, you're asking me why I'm not rapping the same way. Well, you bitches are mad dusty and do dusty ass shit. So shut the fuck up. Right. Like that's how it's coming off to me. So you're worried. Yeah. You're worried about me, but you're over here. Look at yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Independent sucking dick on cam. But I'm not sucking dick on cam. Me neither. And I'm not. Maybe. A baddie. You know what I'm saying? So I am though. I think this. Those are the people that really matter. I don't. I didn't see any baddies. Like, oh, I think girls still like. Th- I feel like girls like. Nah, girls would dissing Drake's album. They would dissing his album too. Yeah, they would. You think so? Hell yeah, I saw it. I saw girls being like, I don't and that's what hurt him, him probably yeah. more than anything else. Then he has the bitches. They don't really fuck. Really but he's not them. responding to the critics. But then girls are girls are the tastemakers of culture. But he's like responding to a certain like group of women. Like this would be my beef with Drake. The BBL. Yeah. But then he had a song in the original album. The club bitches. The BBL shit. BBL interlude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Praising BBLs, and he has sex with girls that have BBLs. Like he's not avoiding BBLs. Yeah, he's crazy. This is crazy. It is what it is, though. I I like. I think it's like a. It gives me like a classic Drake song moment. Yeah, this is a like, good song. That was a good. That was really I well done. It. I, like I liked it. it a lot. Yeah, yeah. Next song, Wick Man. I feel like John Wick. Empty clips. Shell cases scatter the floor. Bullets they shatter the glass. I feel like I'm always on thin ice with a thick bitch. So many shots. Fu- I'm in that fucking bag right now. I'm a lipstick. Sabbatical in Miami. I remember niggas was joking about some tick tick. And now that rapper broke as fuck. The boy is statistic. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's that push a T. Hold up, nigga. This might be the <laughs> Say Candyman. This might be the song. Say Candyman. This might I want be you the to song say niggas wanted. Hold uh, up. Say Candyman. I want you to say it. So far, the best verse on the whole album. So far. <laughs> There's only been a couple bars. I was joking about some tick tick. Empty clips. Empty clips. Empty clips. Empty clips. Empty clips. Empty clips. It's hip hop, nigga! 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 <laughs> nigga! I want you to know right now, that nigga went to Virginia Beach as we speak! He got malice in the studio with him, praying for his soul, cause he about to write some bars for you, nigga! Let's fucking go! Rap is back! Let's go! John Cena wouldn't know emotions I wrestle with. Point me to your boss, nigga, you a receptionist. Black America love to remind me what my mama looked like, as if I'd ever fucking forget. I'm living for right now, cause I really think heaven's a front. Nadia died in Dubai. Her ex would eat away at her soul, that nigga a munch. A part of me questioning God and not believing in much. They say Drake, you're getting harder, funny, it's getting easier. Both say he the recipe, I must be the key ingredient. That's hard. Both said, Yachty says he's a secret recipe, I might be the main ingredient. Like the large was too big for you, you'll need a medium. Just to send a message to somebody. But I feel like that's like a taste. You know what I'm saying? Like, what he could do here. Because. He's saying this, he needs to, if he's, if he's saying this, like, Pusha T's gonna probably gonna respond. No, he's going to, because right? he, he responds to less. Empty my, clips, bro. My thing is this, so my beef with Drake has always been that he doesn't call out the people he's supposed to call out. When him and Hove beefed, and Hove went on, nigga, we made it. 
He ain't say shit to him back when he put Jay Electronica on the remix. Bet. Fuck it. You don't call him out. Then they're suddenly best friends. When it came to the, the push beef, he acknowledged Kanye first when it was Pusha T the entire time. I respect you right now, Drake. Because you just said Candyman. He got to be ready for what comes next, though. If Pusha T drops like three fucking diss tracks, he's going to have to eat that shit, bro. Listen, he gonna, he, he's not on the break no more. He's fucked the break. Nigga, you, you touring and shit again? You better be ready to, to unload. You better be ready. Because yeah. this shit about to get crazy. You dissing lyrical niggas. If Joe Budden was still rapping, he'd come at you too. Because on the whole... For all your dogs, uh, for all the dogs, and I think even on the whole Certified Lover Boy, he doesn't take shots at Pusha T. Nothing, bro. nothing direct as like this. He take, but I'm telling you, bro, Drake takes shots to niggas. He know I'm not gonna take it back on him. That's been my beef with him his whole career. This is the second Drake and J Cole collaboration of the year. They're going on tour together. I had a feeling new music by them was gonna drop before the tour started. I predicted it. I manifested it. It happened. Evil ways. This should better be hard. Is it gonna be better? It's gonna be a bigger moment than first person shooter. The video was already video of the year. Ten out of ten. That's a fucking movie. Imagine J Cole's hating too, because this thing has been hating this whole fucking. It's the last four tracks. Yeah. yeah, I got some evil ways. Volkswagen shit, the way I'm running Beatles plays. And we link it like we free the slaves. I conquered hell, I walked the villain, set my feet ablaze. Hard as every year, like sneakers that Adidas made. I never did the VMAs. I never did the VMAs, I'm not in need of praise. Nigga. <laughs> As hard as the Adidas, the shoes Adidas oh made. I'm talking about her James Harden. Like, bro. That was crazy. Nah, J. Cole's going crazy. But then Drake. I think Drake is just going to accept the fact, like, yo, J. Cole's better than me right now. Like, it's okay. <laughs> You're going to have to. My brother's running through the six like the Green Berets. Wheel of Fortune shit the way they say they need a K. And now my paper folded like the teachers don't want classmates to see a grade. Oh! Even now I see the grave for these precious flowers I've been handed, watch me be the vase Man, I'm living out Carlito's way And Broski didn't do it, he like a piece of art judge, he was framed Got their nose bleeding like the seats where you can't see the stage High up in arenas where they see they fade Me and Drizzy Drake, we the wave Christian Combs with a brush in his hand once the grease is laid Next time I get in Rosalia's face I hope she tell her people that we need some space Like a Indian marriage, it could be arranged what the fuck is he talking about? Rosalia? He's trying to fuck Rosalia someone got mad? He doesn't have beef with Rosalia. Next time I get in Rosalia's face, tell, tell them niggas I need some space, blah, blah, blah. He probably got pressed by Rosalia's, like, people. People or something? Yeah. Trying to act like he wasn't Drake? You know them Spanish niggas, I don't go fuck, bro. Listen, that's that's celebrity stories. You know, he's he goes through a lot. He's this mean it just may see us on your block like the street parade. At the top, playing keep away. Drake pulled a white bitch that's going both ways. She like the queen of spades. I'm starting to think they perks is fake. He's going on. He about to go off on the SoundCloud Nigga. rappers again. Nigga. He hates SoundCloud rappers, but he loves them at the same time. <laughs> I stay out of beef. See niggas' DNA get rearranged. Queen of spades. I'm starting to think they perks is fake. Game. If it's a game, these streets would be Bushido's blade. Raise it to his face and he Need a shade. I'm with Drizzy in Atlanta. So many hitters with that nigga, they could be the brave. Young Angel going through his demon phase. Scary hours undefeated. Y'all should be afraid. Oh, this nigga said Drake actually has murderers around him. He's not rapping about it only, guys. Uh, I saw them. Young Angel, he's going through his demon phase, though. Um, can't blame him, though. <laughs> Bro. I've been around him for a couple months. This has been my nigga, but I've been around him for a couple months. I've seen a couple things, nigga. They got hitters like they're the Braves. No, listen. You know, the, you know how many hitters the Braves got? Too many. Hard to blame them. Lord knows this game can be the praise. Yeah. Y'all should be afraid. This nigga said, I'm the vase for the flowers that they're giving to me. You... Bro, we need we need a Drake and J. Cole album. Oh. And we also need to have a conversation about how J. Cole is the best rapper in the world right now. He like, really is. We need to seriously. And this is, and this is practice. We need to seriously have that practice. conversation. We need to stop with the fucking bullshit. Bro, he's on here, what, 11? Bro, J. Cole's the best right now. He's only getting better. Like, how is J. Cole getting better? Bro, this is... You're telling me he wasn't trying this entire bro, time? Bro, they executed this shit perfect. I love that back and forth, bro. I fucking love that shit, bro. That's what we wanted on the Drake. Nigga, the Drake. The Meek Mill. Rick Ross album. That's what we want from collaborations. Bro, we can't have them in the same sentence. We need bro. collaborations. 
That's a collaboration. It's a moment. These are the two greatest rappers Man, in the yo, world right now coming we, together. We, we need Kendrick Lamar, on. where the fuck are you? Where is Kendrick Lamar? This is Kendrick Lamar's boogeyman. Yo, for real. <laughs> I was waiting for Drake to say some shit. Imagine. He's like, never going like to say Like a little line? Like a little line? No, he apparently they have beef. But he's never going to say candy, man. He will never say it. He will never say his name, bro. You think so? I don't think so. Uh, no, nah. Yeah, they have beef. That's what niggas have, like, deciphered. I don't know, man. Man, know, God, bro. But he's not saying Kendrick's name. That's it? This one more song. My heart hardens every year like the sneakers that Adidas made. That's a bar, nigga. That nigga J. Cole went fucking retarded, bro. <laughs> God damn! My thing is, is Pusha T broke as fuck? What's going on? He must know more than us. <laughs> if Pusha T's broke as fuck, nigga, we're some hobos. We must be some hobos. I... We must be some hobos. Pusha nigga. T's the head of good music, and he's one of the co-directed creators of Adidas. I don't know. <laughs> nigga, I don't know how And he's Pusha broke. T dropped... The rap album of the year last year. So what? What is like? You know what I'm saying? Like I. Compared to Drake, he's broke. I think that's bro. what he's saying. That's how billionaires call millionaires broke. Yes, yeah. but damn. You're not broke. Like you just don't have as much money as me. The empty clips line was hard. He's gonna. He tick, said tick. boogeyman, bro. That's it. He said your name. He made these songs in a couple five days. He said, right? Okay, so I get it. He could do the teasing shit if he's ready for the war. Mm-hmm. If you want to get back to the war, get back to the war. Would you guys put that song better than First Person Shooter? It's up there, nigga. That shit was crazy. Yeah. Lyrically, yes, because Drake went crazy, too. L- lyrically, yes. Lyrically, yes. yes. But, like... It's not a radio song and not shit. not a radio exactly. song. But First it's, Person but Shooter like has that. music, so I put it up there. This shit's up there. This shit's up there. This might be their best collaboration. Evil Ways. This might be their best collab they ever done. Like, lyrically and, like, just, like, overall, like, like how it, like, how well put together... Yeah, but the other one, first person, is just like that's that's for numbers. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. for numbers. Especially with that video. The video was, takes it out to the next level. This is the last song on the project, Scary Hours Three. We appreciate you guys for watching this legendary reaction, live reaction. You broke my heart. Look, my notepad caught many bodies. This shit is gonna, you know, end and I have like an upbeat joint. That was hard. That's like a banger. That's like a hit song. That's a hit song. That's a hit song. I'm gonna let you know right now. That's low key a hit song. That's a hit song. That EP is better than that entire album. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um. I don't know, man. I'll tell you this much. This is what niggas just wanted, though. Niggas just wanted you to rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas. Yeah. No TikTok bullshit. You gave us what we wanted. You gave us happy. elite producers. You can't please everyone. And no one's perfect. That's by default. But a reaction is a reaction. And people want to see the reaction. And it's all entertainment. It's all fun and games, right? So let's talk some shit. A lot of rap on here. 
the first two songs were kind of were rapping, but it kind of still came off kind of stale. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it came off like what's Not, going on. It just wasn't an energetic whatsoever. Yeah, and the bars weren't that clever. It wasn't extremely clever. I'll first listen. It wasn't extremely clever. Maybe they grow. Maybe some growing bars. She might be like a fucking little tree. We don't fucking know, right? No, I like that female one. I'm sorry. Which one? The, the third one, eh? That's the second one. The third one is him. Um, no. Some push. Yeah, no, the bro. third one. No. I'm telling you. People saying, oh, no, I think this is dumb. Some niggas were saying I was reaching, it's not Pusha T. Who else is he not? If, how is he not dissing Pusha T? No, it's Pusha T. It's Pusha T, you dumbasses. Tick, uh-huh. tick, tick clips. He's not broke, yes, nigga. That's confusing your dumbass. He's broke to him. We're yeah. hobos, nigga, yeah. compared to him. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, he's not broke. But yeah, the, the female one is the second one. Stories about my brother is the second one. The female one's the third one. The shoe fits. From uh, three, from three to six, nigga? Yeah. Yeah, Those fire. four? Yep. Fire, yeah. The shoe fits, Wick Man, Evil Ways, You Broke My Heart. Yeah. All hard. Mm-hmm. Nigga, that's just 10 out of 10s yeah. right there. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck, yep. nigga? That's like a fucking gun. Pop, 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 pop. The yeah. first two are like, hmm. Mm. Cool. But I think those two might have been the Alchemist and maybe Conductor production. Um, They'll grow. They'll grow, niggas. It's first listen, but... The shoe fist is hard for the ladies. The irony. You know. Yeah. I forgot how to rap, but I don't know how to rap like that no more. And you can diss women you don't like with that song. Yeah. Wick man. John Wick vibes. Going off. Rapping crazy. Coming at Push a T. Yeah. Starting a fire that you got to put out. You're, you've been warned, right? You know what you're doing. You're not dumb. You're a grown man. Evil Ways. J. Cole. Best collaboration they've done, arguably. I want another video. Why not? Give us more. You guys that are doing a be, tour. Give us another fucking video. That would be Let's amazing. Let's fucking do it. And at the same time, fucking J. Cole. Capitalize it. You, if you guys extended this shit, get a money for this, fully capitalize. Why not? You make mad money off of a video on this shit. Oh, hell yeah. J. You could do this shit here in Providence. We could take you to the fucking street, Broad Street. Oh. On the block, nigga. Get you a couple bodies. Give me $50, out. nigga. A J. Cole outrapped Drake, but at the same time, J. Cole was praising Drake. The irony. Yeah. It's like, he almost knows damn near. Like, nigga, you know you're out rapping this nigga right now? That James, Har- James Harden Adidas line, nigga? What the fuck? And why are you rapping about Adidas and this nigga don't even fuck with Adidas on this album? What the fuck? It's like, J. Cole, no- and then he's like, no, but hold up, scary hours, you know, angel face, nigga. On some demon time, hold up, this nigga got bodies. Be careful. Allegedly, right? So it's like, he's praising him. I love that. It's like, this nigga loves this nigga, bro. He's really a... They're fans of each other. This shit's amazing. Some brotherly love. Like, we need that chemistry, that fucking... We need that shit in rap. Yeah, bro. These niggas want to be... Oh, this is what oh, we need. Oh, oh, I'm going to disappear. When, I'm going to do an album with my cousin, Baby Keem. Hey, right, come on. Bro, this you, you're still on this nigga, bro. bro. Now, what he do? What he do to you, bro? Did he hit up Deja? Honestly, what the what fuck? What he do, bro? We got to shake up that... Fucking nest that Kendrick but, wants to but, hide but in. You see, Drake, this is the people that you need to surround yourself with, right? You got J. Cole, good ass fucking music, two bangers, bro, right? Now you're over here wasting time surrounding yourself with Yachty. Your part is good in the song, his part is fucking trash. And then you got Yachty fucking hyping your fucking album up. To he made like sure to keep him off. Sky. He made sure to keep him off, though. On the sky. Thank, the thank e- God. EP. I thought we were going to get another Yachty. No. Bro. No. I kind of wanted one. No, I don't. Just kidding. Stop. Mm-hmm. Stop. Bro. I would have mine if it was better. You know what I'm saying? Yo, stop this TikTok 30 second music bullshit that you're doing, bro. Get better producers. Stop hanging with Yachty and make good music. You have the resources yeah, to make amazing music. Go hit up Just Blaze. Go hit up Timbaland. Hit up real fucking producers. Not okay. some fucking nigga. Hit up Dr. Dre. Bullshit. Yeah, bro. Like, why are you doing 808 bullshit with these young ass niggas who can't make a beat for their life, bro? What are we doing, bro? There you got Yachty, fucking Cole, Cole, whatever the fuck he was. He doing. shout out a little Lil Uzi on the last song. He said something about um, push me to the edge like a vert, some shit. They shout out a little Lil Uzi vert. Um. There's a little Uzi Drake song unreleased that's hard as that's fuck. That's hard as fuck. Didn't do nothing with it, right? The song that he played um, at the gates. At the he played a song at the he gave it to like a DJ that premiered it like at a DJ show. That shit was hard as fuck. A Drake song by himself. It wasn't on here either. But Drake said these are new songs he made in the past five days. Yeah. But they're hard as fuck. It's like, but then I feel like he says that shit to psychologically fuck with niggas, whereas like 
yo, these are new songs, right? So you're don't gonna take it. You're gonna, you're gonna don't expect much, but at the same time, it's so fucking good. Whereas like, I'm gonna put them out. They're out. So are we fucked up and saying it's better than the album? Like it's like, or this is this is what we wanted? Because you didn't really sit down and pontificate and go crazy and like sit down with the shit. Like, mm, let me let me make some bars and let me let me draw some shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me rap on the Andre 3000 beat. You know what I'm saying? These on these flute. Let me go card. It was like, oh, you know, I think he said on one of these songs where he's like, he's like, I just walked in. He's like, I just walked, Noel, I just walked in. Noel was, yeah. Yeah, because he has his boy, Noel. The, the producer, yeah. Yep. I mean, the engineer. He's like, I just walked in, Noel gave me this beat or some shit. It was already laid up for me, blah, blah, blah. This but is it's, or point. is it him being cocky? Like, nigga, I can, I can nut this shit real quick. You niggas want some bars? I can nut this shit in five days. Bust it a nut on you niggas. Now you niggas jizzed up. You know what I'm saying? It's like... And I'm still better than you niggas. What the fuck is going on? I say this with all due respect. Yo, Drake. 40 is a great producer. Top tier. Probably all time. Noel is one of the best engineers on the planet. Top tier, all time. Tell Why the f- <laughs> No, you're crazy. Why the fuck are you surrounding these great people you have in your camp with these young ass niggas that fucking suck, bro? Like, yo, I'm sorry, bro. When I seen the producer list... For the all your dogs for the first time, I was like, bro, this is gonna be bad, bro. I know these niggas. I've heard their music. It's not good. Like, yo, stick to what you got, bro. Stick to elite niggas. You are too rich for this. This shit get me mad again, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna get out the car, bro. This thing get me even. I'm gonna try to find the producers for this shit. Bro. Th- this motherfucker is so smart, though, bro. Right? He did the album. He got mad backlash. Pu- pushed, right? pushed it back, right? Got backlash because it's like people like you pushed it back, but it still didn't hit how it was supposed to hit. Album drops. It's growing on people. Like uh, a you're, fucking you're, tumor. You're responding to criticism. <laughs> then you announce a fucking thing, a, 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 an extension of the tour with Cole, right? Just for next year. But then it's like, oh, if if that didn't, you know, get you guys to be on my dick, guess what? Scary Hour 3, six new tracks. And they're better than the album. <laughs> and these shits, I DK wrote them in five days. They sound like they've been made in the last three months. Them shits sound like you fucking sat there and... Pontificated. And cook, yeah, <laughs> cooked the hardest shit you fucking done in like the past two years. So and what? drop that shit. And now it's like, oh, is he gone? Are we not going to get something? Nah. This motherfucker's playing with us, bro. The J. Cole and Drake song was produced by Boy Wonder and Vinyls. And then You Broke My Heart was produced by Vinyls. Which one was the Wick Man? I think Wick Man was Alchemist? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bro. West Hard. I'm telling you, bro. Damn. Elite producers. <laughs> Yo. Fuck! Interpolates Ice Spice Munch on here. Cause I think Drake did say like yeah, a munch he, line. he said something about being a munch. Mm-hmm. So Ice Spice gonna get some credits on this sh- Yo. Damn. Damn. So let me ask you niggas a question. But Red Bottom and the Shoe Fits were both produced by Little Yachty. And Overcast. I guess. Overcast might be Yachty's like producer from the Yachty team. Yeah, probably. Shoe Fits was good. Red Button wasn't bad, but... And stories about my brother, I think, was conductor, conductor, the Griselda producer. The o- he's like that. an older guy, he's, yeah. but he's hard, like he's crazy. Him. So let me ask you, there's a question: If Kanye doesn't respond, can Drake keep attacking him the way he is, or are you just beating a dead horse? With Kanye? Yeah. I think, and to be honest, and I'm unfortunately, what's going on is Drake just sees this shit like it's just child's play, like it's a game. I think he should just keep going. And this is just exercise, right? Like, I think Drake is literally on some shit like that, especially with this scary hour shit, just like busting a nut. Like I told you, busting a nut. Bro, you're going to tell He's me. He's not thinking that deeply about this shit, like we are. And you, that's the fucking problem. You, you're you going to tell me, right? Him being around with Cole right now, right? Mm-hmm. The way that Cole thinks, the way that he moves. Everything that he's saying right now, that everything that he's doing right now is straight fucking just like practice. And we know that the fucking verses he's been dropping have been fucking hard. You gonna tell me that's not gonna have some type of impact on Drake, bro? Where it's like, damn, you know what? Let me maybe take this shit a little bit more serious. 
Here's my thing. Let me let me actually come out and let my nuts hang, right? And smack these motherfuckers on their forehead to see if they're going to do something about it. You know what I'm saying? I hear it. Why not? I just find it a little interesting that... I can see that. Drake, of all people, is hanging out with J. Cole. Thank you, J. Cole. You know what? Thank you, J. Cole. No, because J. Cole... Thank you, North Carolina. J. Cole's only dissed somebody once. It was on um, Everybody Dies. And he was, uh, he was calling out Wale and Kanye. Beyond that, that nigga don't call no one out, bro. He ain't that messy nigga. So, I'm kind of confused on why they're friends right now. But the thing is that Cole, Cole's been delivering, bro. Like, hard. Yeah. Like, he's actually been giving us rap. Yeah. So, it's like, it's time for Drake to stop playing around with the little li- lollygalling bullshit. This is, this is, um. And giving us real fucking rap. If you, you could take ten songs from the whole thing, For All The Dogs, and like, you could take six. Them. You could take six from there. Too. Take six from there and then add these four from the bottom, and you can see you can. It's some hard ass shit. Like it's like it's album, album of the year, album, yeah. album of the year, album of the year. So I, I see what he's doing. I see what the fuck he's doing. Some playlist type shit. I see what the fuck he's doing because he didn't even make it separate. He added it to the album, so it's gonna run up the streams on for all the dogs. Uh, yeah, that's exactly why he did it because the Scary Hours Two was its own thing. I don't even know what the fuck Scary Hours 1 was. Yeah, I don't remember that. Oh, I, I think it was on SoundCloud Diplomatic only. Community. Oh, it was on and, SoundCloud um, only. And God's Plan. Hmm. That was Scary Hours. What was the Scary, Scary Hours, hours 2 one. then? Scary Hours 2 was the Little Baby song and the Rick Ross And song. the Roses one. Some yeah. shit like that, yeah. And we'll see what about to happen next, okay? Yeah. That's, okay? Why, that's why I said Joe Budden got dissed on, on Scary Hours 1 on Diplomatic Community. Him and Act. The he got dissed movie. again on Scary <laughs> Hours 3. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> Listen, there we have it. Comment down below how do you guys feel about it. Did we miss any bars? Yes, we missed a lot of them, right? 100%. Um, it's okay. It's a part of the game. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys. What's your favorite song out of all of these? I definitely have The Evil Ways with J. Cole. Um, but Wick Man was crazy. And the last one is just like a hit record. Like, this is crazy. This nigga's really the best. Like, he's really just the best, you know? But as far as the better rapper right now... Cole. J. Cole. Yeah, Cole. Cole. J. Cole's delivery. It's just, it's, it's like a, it's like, it's like, it's, 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 it's damn near it's, tastes it's, better. It's, it's wa- I wag you. Yeah, it's like it tastes better. It's the shit wag-y. tastes better, bro. Like, it just tastes better. Like, you know when some wa- shit just tastes you, better? That's, that's just th- minimum like 10 years old. It just tastes it's better. It's been fermented like crazy. Drake is like. It just makes sense. Like Phantom says. It just, it just makes sense. Um, Maybe like a year. Yeah, no. J. Uh, Cole's on like some different shit right now, man. Type the shit. puzzle is fitting with J. Cole. But Drake is on that shit, too. The production selection was amazing. Shit, can we expect some Drake on fucking Cole shit? Oh, no. It's got to has happen, though. No. Has to happen, nigga. You can't... Them niggas ain't paying each other for verses and shit. You gonna give Drake... You gonna get two J. Cole features on a Drake album? You paying. Drake is gonna give that back. You gonna get three, maybe, on the J. Cole album. Damn. So, you know, for the on the for the fall off, off the whatever it's gonna be called. There might be another mixtape before you the fall crazy? off. If, if I'm, I'm okay. J Cole, I'm just okay do a mixtape. I'm okay with that. But you know what's crazy? Before this, just keep dropping. We hadn't gotten a Drake and Cole feature since fucking um. Jodeci. Jodeci back. No. Before what was in that? the morning. Hit it in the morning. No, but Jodeci was after that. I think Jodeci back was after them. No, it was. I don't yeah. think so. Cause I think it was yeah. like on SoundCloud or some shit. Yeah, that was on SoundCloud. No, I remember. I remember when it dropped. I just don't remember what year. Hit it in the morning, sun rising when you're morning. morning. You know, um, fuck. It's 1 a.m. We love you guys that much. Subscribe. You guys want to watch the uncut version without any skips to prevent copyright and blocking because Drake's label does not play games. Uh-uh. Go to patreon.com forward slash club ambition and you'll watch it uncut there. Um, yeah, Drake, we know you're watching. Like, I'm, 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 you proved us wrong. Well, you proved us right. That's the thing. He did prove you proved us right. Like he we did. want you to rap, right? You shut us up. You shut me and up. And you proved us wrong. You shut me up. Wait, yeah, I don't. He just, just proved us. I don't right. know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. He proved us. That's right. that late shit. He proved us right in the sense that we know he was a top tier lyricist. But he just likes to play games. He likes to be stupid. Yeah. Let's get back to the Andre 2000 album. Real music. They gon' love me for my ambition.